Let us not forget everything that happens. It's by the will of Allah. Holy it's time to unite and stand, and we will be the best amongst men. It's not time to be extreme or duty unthinkable, but to stand together as one. Turn into sooner followers, streaming. Every day, various platforms, trust me, you'll find a way, soon the followers. Another Son of Followers exclusive, Not One of Us, written by Sheikh Mohammed S. Adli, broken down and brought to you by host Layla Nasheba. Join us every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central, right here on Suna Followers. In alhamdulillah, wa salat, wa salam ala wa rasulullah. Welcome to our Hadith class for tonight. And uh, this is the class, whereas we are studying the Hadiths from the book written by Sheikh Muhammad Saeed Atli, entitled Not one of us, not one of us. And again, I did put an advertisement out for a new book that Sheikh Atley wrote entitled Pro Prohibited Imitations. Prohibited Imitations. You want to pick up a copy of that book and also all these other books. Let me add that here. Uh, they, these are the different books. Um, let me write it. I'm going to add this prohibited imitations. These are the different books that we are teaching here at Suna Followers that you want to pick up and uh, go to Atlee online to purchase. Let me make it so that you can <clears throat> really see it because I know I got some new uh, Muslims here too. Look at that. These are the books. <clears throat> I want you guys to write them all down. You want to get not of us the Articles of Belief, Prohibited Imitations, and 55 Hadiths on Islamic Behavior and Discipline. Those books can be purchased by going to www.adleyonline.com. The book Prohibited Imitations, this is a new book that Sheikh Muhammad Said Atli just released. And it's an excellent book. It speaks about um, uh, the prohibited, the hadith, whereas the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has forbidden us from doing things <clears throat> that will cause us to fall in the category of imitating shaitan or imitating animals or imitating the opposite sex or even imitating the jinn, okay? So you want to pick up that book because I will begin teaching that one directly after Ramadan. The Articles of Belief, Not One of Us, and the Imitation, I mean, the 55 Hadiths on the Behavior, I'm already teaching those now. So please go to www.atleonline.com. The books are not expensive. The Prohibited, the prohibited Imitations is only $7. If you buy all the books, you, he'll put them in one box. You only have to pay for one shipping. You only have to pay the cost probably for just shipping, one shipping cost, because he can put them all in one box. So please, guys, uh, order these books. And with that said, let me um, put the PowerPoint up for tonight's Hadith tonight's discussion. And for those of you who have not yet bought the book, this is how the book looks. This one here, not one of us. This is how it looks when you go to his website. Pick up a copy of it. And tonight we're going to be discussing the following hadith. The following hadith. This hadith was narrated by Ibn Umar, 
radiallahu anha. He said the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wore a ring made of gold. Then he threw it away. Why did he throw it away? Because Allah sent down the prohibition saying that it is forbidden for men of this nation to wear gold. It's not forbidden from women, only from men. Muslim men cannot wear gold jewelry, but women can. So the prophet threw the, the ring of gold away and he replaced it with a ring made of silver. So it's permissible for Muslim men to wear silver. He replaced it with a ring of silver and the ring was engraved with the words Muhammad Dor Rasulullah, which means the messenger of Allah. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told the companions, he said, none of you should copy this inscription of mine. And he wore the stone uh, towards his palm. So this was a signet, a signet that he would use to stamp. You know, remember the Prophet Muhammad couldn't read or write, but this was a signet that he would use to stamp as his signature whenever he sent letters out to people. And it was a, a ring, a, the ring differentiated him and gave his identity as to who he was. And this is why he told the companions, don't copy this because I am the one and only, I am the last and the only Rasulullah. I am the last and only messenger of Allah. So you don't want people walking around calling themselves the messenger of Allah with a ring like yours, okay? So this is something that we need to ponder. And for those of you who know Sheikh Muhammad Saeed Atli, Sheikh Muhammad Saeed Atli has a ring that he always wears on his finger. But if you notice, oftentimes, uh, Sheikh Muhammad Saeed Atli has that ring, the, the stone part, he wears it towards his palm. And a lot of people may look at him when he's lecturing or doing a kutba and they'll say, that's a nice ring Sheikh Atli has. Why come he never shows the stone? Why does he wear the stone uh, facing his palm? This is why. Because one thing about Sheikh Muhammad Saeed Atli, he's a stickler for the Sunnah. He's devoted his whole entire life, his whole entire life to trying to uh, uh, bring back the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And as a Daya, as a person who calls to the Sunnah, Sheikh Atli has always made it a mission to be an example of how the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was. So that's why you will see that silver ring that Sheikh Atli wears all the time, but you very seldom see the stone. Most of the time, the stone is he wears it facing his palm, and that's why, because he's imitating the prophet. But nowadays, you may see it because Sheikh Atli has gotten older and he's lost weight. When you lose weight, you know, your, your brain moves around. So now his ring may move around some. So you may get to see it, but very rarely, because if he finds the stone facing up, he'll turn it around towards his palm, because this is the Sunnah of the prophet. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that's one of the best ways to show your love for the Prophet Muhammad. One of the best ways to show your love for the Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is to imitate him in, in how he dressed, in how he wore his hair, and how he wore even a ring. May Allah bless Sheikh Muhammad Sayyid Atli and forgive him of his sins. I mean. So this is a wonderful hadith that brings about many lessons. Number one, you find out that the prophet used to wear gold before it was forbidden. And then another thing you learn from this hadith is that the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was always the first to follow Allah's commands. When Allah said it's forbidden for the men to wear gold, the prophet threw that ring away immediately. He didn't question it. He didn't ask why. He threw it away. He was the first to follow Allah's commands and stay away from what Allah ordered. So this is something that we should try to incorporate into our lives. Not the fact of wearing rings, but to be the first.
to be the first to implement Allah's commands. When you find out that something is haram, you find out that something is forbidden for us as Muslims, do away with it. Do away with it. Don't ask why. Don't ask, is there a reason? Somebody gives you the evidence that it's haram to, to do something, just stop doing it. It's haram to, stop, to smoke cigarettes, stop smoking. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me, did was nicotine around then? It doesn't matter if nicotine was around or not. It's an intoxicant. And the prophet said all intoxicants are haram. So that's it. That covers nicotine, crack, crank, anything else that wasn't around. Okay. So as we go into our third, that we're coming to the end of our third week of Ramadan, we're almost entering into the last 10 days. Let's try to incorporate the character of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam into our lifestyle of hearing and obeying. Okay, I'm going to stop right here.